All right, back again with my cough drop, and OBS still crashed when that was when that uh, simple screen recorder wasn't running. So twenty one dot one dot one dot one won't run at all. So I open up the uh, you know bug report, and I thought I would kind of look through the. Uh, information as much as I can and see if anything changed ah it's different it's a different crash a s t r c m p i it could be because I tried to revert but I didn't get rid of everything that needed to be got rid of why did you do that this thing is following me I guess I'll open up. I wanted to open up my web browser. I guess I'll open it up in the same window if it's going to follow me. <clears throat> oh, I usually put it up there, and my cursor was down there. No, I did not mean that. This page doesn't seem to have that. And he's trying to stream on Twitch, so it's not anything to do with YouTube. Windows 10, though. Turn off multi adapter capability. Your card is what's crashing. That's what they're saying. That's 2017. Put Linux in there too to make sure. There's what I've got, and then there's the, um, the newer one that says alternatives. Well, there's another one that's a 21111. What do I got? Oh, that's I686. That's somewhere I've already been in all my searching. <coughs> ah. Is there something finally in here? This is on GitHub. Signal crashes on startup. How old is this post here? <clears throat> August 7th, 2018. So it's pretty recent. And this problem, I don't, I never ran into this one before.
Only one fix on there. What is that talking about? It seems to be talking about GitHub, no, not uh, OBS. This is about OBS, isn't it? Yeah. Now that says obsolete. So now I don't think this is about OBS Studio. I was just assuming. Signal 1V. I don't know what Signal 1V. This should probably be in Fedora Linux, Fedora 28. I'm going to hang on to it. It's link, but... Uh, Whoops. That's not necessarily about the server. Dang it. I did just need a Fedora 28 folder, I guess. <clears throat> I didn't think I would need it, I guess. There we go. Now when I reorganize those, it'll be... Okay, so that wasn't nothing to do with OBS. So that didn't help. When I added Fedora 28 Linux in there, then it uh, became about Fedora more than about OBS. <clears throat> that one I've already been to. That's the one I was just at a minute ago. Yeah, and he's running Windows 10. Henry 10.18. This is Windows again, I can tell. Graphics drivers. I don't think, I think I read this already, I'm not, but I think I read just the other day that Linux doesn't even do direct 3D, <clears throat> uh, but I think it actually says you have to use OpenGL in Linux, so, and that is, I'm, I'm almost certain that's what I'm using, but uh, I'm going to say that me, my reinstall of the older version Yeah, the audio thing is still there. I'm not so sure that actually causes a problem. Okay, so close that reporting thing since it's not working anyway. Are you going to let me close you? There, we'll do it that way. It didn't want to come up so I could close it. <coughs> okay. Um, make sure you're still working. Yep. So now, instead of cr just crashing when you stream, it crashes, period. Of course, I did put my profiles in there. So, you know, i got to wonder if that's it. I can try and fix that. 
Um, Make that number three. <clears throat> I better somehow differentiate these. Okay, yeah, I'll just copy this over. This may be a problem. I just thought of something that, that, uh, we'll try it. Maybe I'll need to leave nothing in there, and then when I open it, it'll make a new one. Let's see if it works with that one. Oh, maybe I should do that. Let's try that first, because there's nothing in there of any value. So delete that. It, maybe it's since it was built in the new OBS, it doesn't work. There you go. <laughs> since it was built in the new OBS, it wasn't going to work. Now it should come up and ask me if I want to make a. No, it crashed. I'm going to click restart this time to see what it does. Crashed again. Okay, so it made one. But it didn't work. Hmm. I guess there's stuff in... Uh, I don't think this one's going to be any good. I started to say I'll merge this one and this one, but I don't see how that would help. I imagine you could do that at any time. You could get a whole new scene by just a whole new uh, profile by just deleting it. Well, let's just try it. I mean, it can't hurt anything. I do not think it'll work, but we'll see. Okay. Okay, so we're going to delete that. Should just delete those for good. Okay. <clears throat> um, I don't think that's of any use either. Um. I'm not sure about all this, so I'll just put it in the trash again. I can empty the trash later. Okay, so I'm going to go into... I'm checking my yeah, checking my, my stream again. <clears throat> I'm recording. I at least need it to work like it did before. And of course, I think an, an update might fix it. But I'm still thinking um, I'm going to DNF again, uninstall what we got. See, did I? Yeah, I did the reboots and all that, so that didn't help. <clears throat> I think I could do more if I can remember. I'm going to have to figure out the name of that cleanup app. It's on my Fedora 14 system, but it's got that bad fan. I haven't even messed with that. I did. I think it's. I'm almost certain it's the fan in the in the door. I could unplug it. It's. It'd be easy to do if I had. And then I could run it. It'd probably be fine for at least when it's not real hot, you know. In here, although it's 79.7 degrees in here, I got the window wide open. If I wasn't getting that fresh air from the window being open, I'd be sick. All right. So we're gonna uninstall OBS.
Yeah, I think it can't go back because because there was stuff there. Evidently, there. Uh, what? Uh huh. I did not move that. It was installed. It was the wrong libs. Then I'm going to uninstall everything and start again. So maybe that's, yeah, I was going to go try to find that cleaning app, but I don't know if that did that to me or this time I'll pick the libs that I want. <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah. The libs were tw were 22 and OBS was 21. No wonder. Okay, so I think that's what why it was broken. So I let it do it automatically. I did that wrong. And it... Uh, <clears throat> And it, it went for the newest libs instead of the ones that go with it. I didn't notice that. I was going to say, I didn't I didn't really think. Most of the time, if you need to uninstall and reinstall an app, most of the time you don't have really anything left behind. Sometimes there might be something in your home directory. Um, and then occasionally, if it's really if it's something that you installed from the RPM that wasn't in the repo, then maybe it'll have stuff left behind and you might in the, you know, user share and all that, like I was saying earlier. And you have to go get manually delete those and find them. And it's hard to find them because they're spread everywhere. The only way I could really find them, I think, is to, um, without spending hours and days, you know, is uh, maybe it's that cleanup app that I was talking about. But, uh, yeah, before I reinstall it, I'm going to look for, I don't know, cleanup. I can't remember what it's called. But it's not called cleanup. Clean sweep? Might be called clean sweep. It's not really reading very well. I remembered all of a sudden I remembered a picture of a broom. Belmont files for sweep. Okay, let's try it in names. Maybe it's called sweep. Sweeper. Yeah, clean traces. 1718. That's what I want. I think that might be it. Oh, wait. Yeah, and there's one called sweep, which is audio editor and live playback tool that one is I never I thought it kind of sounded cool but I never really used it I have installed it other at other times I think I just caused it to unselect it sure did I hit I think I hit enter before my deal was ready so I'm gonna go ahead and install sweep well I can do that along with OBS, I think. Oh, no. I want to clean first. Yes. Yes. Clean first. That was the whole point. I want to see if it sees anything. Sweeper. I think this is what. 529 whole kilobytes with its dependencies.
This may not be the one, but we'll see. I do have, uh, is it done? Not quite. What's it called? Um, I think it might be a system tool, in the system tool, the one I have. See, the sweep is in here, and it could be in. I think it's done now, so. Something with a K in it. Oh, no, <laughs> K in it. FS Lint uh, is a good one, but it doesn't do the kind of cleaning I'm trying to do, cleaning up after programs. Okay, so I believe it's done, so I'm going to hit quit. <clears throat> Hopefully it'll show up in the... Yeah, <laughs> it used to come up really quick, the screenshot, and you can just about do it that way. Just hit print screen, enter. You know, that's why I, I'm in the habit of being able to do that. So I'm uh, seeing if this is still working good. Yeah. Okay, so... Um, See if it'll show up. Yeah, sweeper. Okay, let's see. <coughs> That's not it. Oh, wait. Recent documents, cookies, web history, web cache, cookie policies. That's not the one I wanted. It's kind of like that, but it's got every, every, you know, a lot more programs. Not every program, a lot more programs. The typical ones that, that you want to clean, you know, like Firefox, Thunderbird, VLC. Uh, I don't think, okay, so the icon is no good anymore, so let's remove it, the uh, OBS. Um, yeah, instead of searching and searching for that, I'm just going to try. It doesn't take long to install OBS and uninstall it. We can see that now. It should be faster. We're using Yum Extender, Yum DNF Extender, but at least I think it, I think it was faster. <laughs> it's better at searching. It's way better. No doubt about that. I guess I could learn the terminal commands and <laughs> just keep doing that. Well, actually, I don't think that would help in this case. Oh, I hit search when I didn't put anything in there. So now it'll have to look and look and find nothing. What, the, what could possibly be blank? Nothing. Okay, so. OBS Studio. We want, I think it's the second one. Yeah, 21.1. Okay, yeah, there are some applications that don't automatically install your libs. Let's see if that's the one we want. Yep, 21.1, and we want the x86.64. And that is, now that should make it work, I think. Hopefully, got to be careful when you, oh, I got the wrong one, I got the wrong one, my eyes are crossed, I can't do this well at all, and the last time though, I didn't select the libs, um, I let them do it automatically, so the system did that. And it, like I said, I grab every time I get in here when having to do this. If you could see it all at once, then it'd work. And you don't need this to be 50 miles wide, but it won't let you make it narrower. The more they fix things, the more they break them. Okay, so... Uh, that should be it. And then everything else will be uh, 
really, really look at this time to make sure I'm getting it right. <clears throat> there's a lot more libs, I think. Yeah, there's a lot more libs. I th well, there's one more, I think. One, two, three, four. And then OBS Studio is one, two, three. Yeah. <clears throat> so, yeah, and when you re-click on it again, you got to watch out it doesn't deselect them, too. Okay. Now I think we can apply Okay, now let me pay more. OBS Studio lives 21111. OBS Studio 21111. These, I can't tell really what to select, so I'm just going to let those go as default. Surely it's not trying to install the newer ones of those than what it would run on it. What would run with that version of OBS? You would think any. The, any version would run with that, you know, with it, you know, of the FFmpeg. Well, I don't know. Anyway, we'll see if it opens up. This time I won't. Well. Now, I think I'll run through the wizard. I'll be safe. I'll run through the wizard and do all that stuff. And then if it uh, works, we'll see how, if it works, then I can just import my things like I should instead of doing it by trying to go around the back door and uh, you know recopy that profile folder I'll just import my my scenes and stuff that I want to use and my profile that I want to use you know and if it doesn't work I can delete it instead of reinstalling the program Yeah, because those profiles, if they made any changes in how they format them or anything, or those scenes, then they might not be backwards compatible. I know when I did change from Fedora 23 to Fedora 28, I imported my profiles, and I don't think I did any scenes. I, no, I didn't do the scenes, or did I? I must have. I imported my profiles, I know that. And they worked all except for some things I had to do manually. Some things didn't come through between that many versions or with several versions. And uh, I think it's done. <clears throat> and, but it didn't crash or anything like that. Okay. So we're going to quit. And let's just see if it works. I guess we're still recording. Looks like it. All right. I'll just open it from over here right now. Uh, oh yes okay good let's see would you like to run the auto configuration yes we'll do that again optimize for streaming 1920 by 1080 don't want to try to do 60 frames per second no way we don't want twitch we want youtube I gotta do my stream key again. Okay, didn't think about that. Um, <clears throat> well, I'm gonna have to do what I did before. I have to stop this recording and go get my stream key and put it in there. All right, we'll be back.